Good morning, everyone. This is Gary Kay, and you're watching a video version of my Rants and Raves podcast. The video is brought to you by Zoom, and interestingly enough, we have Zoom joining us today. David Calvo is joining us from Amsterdam at Zoom. How are you doing, David? Gary, good morning for you. Good afternoon here in Amsterdam. All the yeah. energy today. Well, we'll all be in Amsterdam in just a, a couple of weeks with the, uh, with the ISE show, and Zoom will be one of the companies that's all over the show. Um, David, uh, you're sitting in a Zoom room right now. So tell us the difference between the Zoom application and the Zoom room. All right. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, first of all, we couldn't miss the ISE. It's one of the, you know, like the places to be. And obviously, our new office is literally five minutes biking from the ISE Ride Convention Center. So we'll definitely be there. And we'll be actually, you know, more than telling what Zoom rooms are we're going to be demonstrating because we have a big clip there and we're going to be telling it. But basically, I wanted to maybe explain a little bit because there may be still some confusion on what Zoom meetings are and Zoom rooms are. Mm -hmm. Basically, the Zoom rooms is just another way to join the Zoom meeting. You know, we can join Zoom meetings from our laptops, from our phone, but we can also meet, join them from what we call the Zoom rooms. And Zoom rooms is just basically a custom-built software-based solution that allows us to transform pretty much any hardware that exists in the industry into a video, conference, video conferencing solution. Uh, and I think probably the easiest way to see what that is is actually doing a quick demo. So okay. well, the powers of Zoom is that we can just, you know, share my screen wirelessly. No need to have any cable. And there you go, sharing my screen, connected to the Zoom rooms. That's one of our features, wireless proximity sharing. So if I uh, quickly open my calendar, that's something that we always do. You know, we wanna schedule the meeting, we walk into a room, um, we personally are big uh, Google users at uh, Zoom. So let's suppose I want to schedule the meeting at 12. I will open my calendar. I will invite the participants, maybe Gonzalo, maybe Fabiana. And the next thing is how I book a room, uh, a physical room. So I will, um, we have very funny names here in the office. We have Heineken, <laughs> obviously with Dutch. We can afford having beer names in our Zoom rooms. Uh, so I will check if the room is busy or not. And basically transforming that meeting into a Zoom meeting, I send an invitation. And what happens after I do that, as an end user, I walk into a room and I find something very similar to this. This is our Zoom rooms. Basically, we see a consistent experience. Uh, the Zoom traditional logo there with the uh, San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. We see a few components that basically act as one instead of the traditional legacy you know, codec, we have much more flexibility to book and equip uh, the rooms with the hardware. What we see here is just the example of a Logitech uh, meetup camera, an iPad, and screen. Uh, the beauty of Zoom Room is that we can actually be absolutely flexible from like the very, very basic approach of reusing equipment that we may have laying around to purchasing a dedicated hardware kit, uh, like the one from Logitech Tab, or even some of the Zoom Room appliances that we recently announced in our last Zoomtopia. Those are dedicated codecs that run uh, Zoom Rooms natively on it. And from that perspective, we have, for example, Neat, that shows the power of you know, the Zoom Rooms with the controller, with potentially as well the uh, scheduler display to be able to book a room when it's busy, uh, when it's empty, when it's busy, we won't be able to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, to the idea to share content wirelessly, um, or potentially as well some of the other uh, vendors that we work with, uh, like T10, that they're doing very nice touch devices, touch appliances. Poly that has just recently announced the Studio X 50 and 30, and potentially a large list of other vendors that we integrate. Uh, we are not a closed ecosystem, so the idea of some rooms is to bring all that together and to transform any room into a video room at a very almost consumer-based price. Because uh, for example, the need bar is $2,500, you know, far from the traditional you know, high cost that the normal video dedicated uh, device will cost in the past. Yeah, so, and, and what I, I'd love for you to show real quick, if you uh, could, uh, maybe uh, I, I could stop your screen sharing, but if you, if you, could, um, if you could show us the, the uh, how quickly it is to join from a mobile device inside of a Zoom room, uh, because I think that's a neat feature uh, that you have available to you right there in the room. And then show us how you're doing, what scheduling display system that you use in your office there. 
All right, so what I'll do is just, uh, I think it's probably a bit small here, but I will just open my calendar. I click on the link to join. And right now I'm joining the meeting. You see the logo there. Uh, you see a very old and ugly picture of me. That <laughs> I'm going to replace that now by my video. And here we are. We are actually live now from our office in Amsterdam. Maybe if you want to uh, spotlight the uh, video so we see that. This is our yep. tiny office in Amsterdam. Right, it's actually somewhere. So walking distance, one of the rooms in here, uh, this is provided by Urban Frame. So it's a very nice way to keep all our components organized in a very, very nice and neat uh, solution with our microphones on the table. And if I walk out, now we'll see, we're gonna stop here and me a little bit, but this is our office. This is our uh, conference room. So let's suppose, you still hear me from there? Or should yep, I switch I my audio on my phone? I can hear you. I fully come to serve. I suppose I want to have a few meetings uh, this afternoon. I will see if the room is busy or not. And if it's busy, I can always click on the set another room. It will populate with an interactive map that we have previously loaded of all the different uh, floors. And I can book the room that I want to use. Excellent. Yeah. And, and what's nice about that is you can just pop in on the fly like that and uh, which that those um those large screen displays that you just showed me uh that were in the room uh the uh what who makes those did you say this is provided by urban u-r-b-e-n okay it's uh it's very interesting yeah it's a dedicated dedicated solution that's kind of neat yeah so um so how do i get more information and where are you going to be located at the amsterdam ride for the ise show i know you go to zoom.us for your website? Um, yeah, so we, we have a big booth uh, in the UC space. To be honest, I don't know the booth name. I think, but, I think um, it's I think it's hall either 11 or 13. You can't miss it. Zoom does have a big space in there. And plus you're gonna be, be- Right in the middle, exactly. Yeah, and you have a, you're in about 13 or 14 partner booths as well. A lot of the companies that you mentioned, D10 and Logitech uh, is two examples of that. Uh, you'll be in a lot of other partner booths as well. Um, David, I really appreciate you doing this today. This is a great on-the-fly demo um, brought to you by Zoom and Zoom Rooms. Uh, and I'll see you at Amsterdam in a couple of weeks. Definitely. Our offices are welcome. So, and I'm open to and welcome for anyone that wants to have a look at this more in person. Well, thank you for joining. Of course, you can see all of our ISC coverage at ravepubs.com slash ISC 2020. We're going to go to the Zoom booth and we're going to shoot videos on all the new products that they're launching because they have a lot of partner products. So you'll be able to find those videos by typing in Zoom in the video search window. Thanks again. Have a great day.